I went to a concert in New York City, in Brooklyn, which by the way, New York City, the skyline is beautiful, but Brooklyn is an absolute fucking shithole. It's like a bombed out Somalian fucking wet market. It's horrible. Anyway, this artist that I went to see is an Australian, like, a uh, electronic rap artist. And uh, she has some really interesting music. She utilizes a lot of tantric symbolism, including the swastika. Uh, but the symbolism is totally lost on the general fan base because these are just your typical culture-bearing leftists. So while I was in the pit, it was getting really fucking hot. And anytime I'm in a pit, usually I have my shirt off. So this time I was wearing my shirt, I was getting too hot, I decided to take my shirt off and I have a pretty big swastika tattoo on my back. No, it's not the fucking National Socialist swastika, it is the original true Aryan swastika. I'm not going to call it the Hindu swastika because that's not what it is. It's not Hindu. Hindu is something that came later. It's a swastika. It's an Aryan symbol of my people, and I'm very proud to wear it. But of course, I'm in Brooklyn. So, a song finishes, and the artist is kind of like in this uh, spacey, electronic period between songs. So you can kind of hear the crowd talking, and. I hear this mousy voice behind me yell, There's a Nazi in the pit! Get the Nazi out of the pit! You know, I didn't know if it was a man or a woman. It's kind of hard to tell when you're in a place like New York City because everybody's just a degenerate little pussy. But um, I knew immediately they were talking about me, so a little smirk went over my face and I started to calculate. Because the thing is, when I was younger, I got in a lot of fights. Because I grew up in the South, in rural Missouri with real men who will actually fucking fight you and not hire a goddamn lawyer to drag you into the court system after the fact. But in urban America, where all the men are a bunch of fucking pussies, if you get into a fight with them and you break their goddamn nose, guess what? You get dragged into court, you gotta fucking pay court fees, you gotta pay for a lawyer, you gotta represent yourself. It's a big waste of time and money. So I have just set myself to the strategy of if a conflict is forming, I try to uh, reduce tension as much as possible, eliminate the conflict, and move on. If somebody wants to fight me, I'll whoop their fucking ass. But especially a goddamn leftist in New York City. But I try to avoid fights as much as possible. Not these fucking people though, because these goddamn leftists are such fucking slaves. They're such pathetic little worms. What they do is they get all their buddies together and they fucking form a collective. And then first they try to shout you down because really they don't want to get into a physical altercation. They know that they're weak fucking people and they'll get their ass kicked. But if they can get enough people together and they can create social pressure, they can shout you down and bully you out of the environment, you know? And they tried that at first. They were asking the artist to identify the Nazi in the pit and then have everyone chant, Get the Nazi out! Get the Nazi out! Fuck you! First off, I'm not a fucking Nazi. It's a goddamn Aryan symbol from the Tantric tradition, okay? Second, if you want to fucking get the Nazi out of the pit, come get the fucking Nazi out of the pit. Come on, come take me out of the fucking pit, you little bitch. Okay, so, anyway, <clears throat> the artist just ignored this motherfucker because she thought that he was pathetic. It was obvious, the look on her face, she was like, what the fuck is it? She's from Australia anyway, so they don't have the kind of like extreme leftist bitch boy culture in Australia that we have in the United States. And her boyfriend was on stage too, and he was just looking like, what the fuck is going on? You know, I'm just, you know, listen to the music, but I'm looking behind my shoulder because I'm in Brooklyn and I know this is Antifa territory. So I don't want some 
like weak little motherfucker to get a cheap shot on the back of my head and knock me out or something like that. So I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. Suddenly I feel this hand touch my shoulder. I turn around, I'm ready to fight. It's this just absolute fucking subhuman creature. And he says, hey man, what's up with that tattoo on your back? And I just looked him in the eye and I said, it's a Hindu swastika. I'm a yogi. You have a problem with that? And he says, oh man, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Good on you. Good on you. I said, wait a minute. By the way, the artist that I went to see, like I said, she uses a lot of tantric symbolism. She had swastikas all over the fucking stage. She uses swastikas in her album art, okay? It's not identifiable as a swastika by most people because it doesn't look like the National Social Swastika, but it is a swastika. I mean, she even had black sun symbolism all over the place, okay? But this fucking guy, he goes, he spends money to go to this fucking concert with this woman who puts swastikas all over everything, and He's too stupid to see that he's given money to this person who uses Aryan symbolism like this, which he clearly has a problem with. And he wants to come up to me and fucking start some shit. So I said, listen, boy, look at this fucking stage. There's swastikas all over the place, you know? I said, she's a yogi. She promotes Aryan tradition. I said, before you come up to somebody and you accuse them of being a Nazi, maybe you should do your fucking homework. But that wasn't the end of it. Oh, by the way, I have to mention that when this guy yelled, Oh, there's a Nazi in the pit! And they had some other people, Oh, get the Nazi out of the pit! Uh, there was this woman nearby who I overheard say, Oh my God, did you hear there's a Nazi in the pit? Literal jump scare! Fuck! You fucking people. Anyway, um, so the show ends, and of course nobody removes me from the pit, nobody's gonna do shit. That guy who came up to me had four people behind him, you know, so he had his little mob with him. Um, I wanted to knock him though. I don't just immediately escalate conflict because it's a stupid thing to do in this country, this litigious fucking country. So, um, I let him go. And then after the show, this old motherfucker comes up to me and he taps me on the shoulder. I turn around like, okay, somebody wants to fight me. He says, man, you got balls for wearing that, showing that tattoo in New York City. I know what it is and I'm totally cool with it, but you got balls and blah, blah. He's doing that passive aggressive shit where it's like he's trying to tell me that I've done something wrong by having this tattoo but he can't really criticize me because one he doesn't want to get knocked the fuck out and two he doesn't want to have to defend this position where he's got to attack a symbol that is yogic you know because leftists are still supposed to be supporting yoga I guess although that's not gonna last long because as soon as they find out the roots of yoga and they see that it's an Aryan tradition and that yoga was created by white people, they're gonna lose their fucking minds and try and cancel that too. So he says this shit like, oh, I've run up on people uh, with tattoos, with like swastika tattoos and stuff like that, trying to be a tough guy, you know? Well, he's totally full of shit. But anyway, I said to him, that's not fucking cool. You shouldn't be attacking someone over their tattoos. I don't care what kind of fucking tattoo they have. I said, what if the guy who has the Nazi tattoos got them when he was younger and he just hasn't had them covered up because not everybody can afford to have their fucking tattoos covered up. Maybe the motherfucker went to prison and he was in a gang and had to survive and got a goddamn swastika tattoo, but he changed his mind. You're gonna go fucking attack him over that? I said, even if they are a Nazi, do you think it's gonna help them to change their position to be attacked by a fucking mutant like you? No, it's not. They're gonna get more entrenched in their ideas. You don't fucking attack people for wearing a political symbol. You don't go right to violence. Whatever happened to redemption? 
Whatever happened to having a fucking discussion about ideas? We gotta fucking cancel people all the time in this goddamn country, and I'm sick of it. It's bullshit, not just in the United States, but all over the world. We can't just have a goddamn discussion about ideas. If you are fucking scared, first off, if you're scared of Nazis, what the fuck, man? The Germans lost the fucking war. These people have no voting block. Nazis are not in power. Donald Trump is not a fucking Nazi. Donald Trump is not a white nationalist. He fucking appeals to black people all the time. He appeals to all the time. He's not a white nationalist. This is a fucking fantasy that you have to try and make yourself feel better. Like, I'm a fucking French, you know, resistance fighter in 1943 fighting the goddamn Nazis here in the United States. Look at me, I'm a tough son of a bitch. Fuck you, you're a fucking pussy. You're full of shit. You live in a fantasy world. Fuck you people. You're just making things worse for everybody. Like, if you got a white kid who goes to a majority black school in Washington, D.C. and he gets his fucking ass kicked every day, the only thing he can go to is an internet community full of other people, other white people who got their asses kicked by fuckers like you every day and have developed all this resentment because nobody would just sit down and talk to them or relate to them. All they have is hate. That's all they fucking have. And it's your fucking fault because you won't fucking talk to them. It's bullshit. The whole system tells them to feel guilty about being white all the time, and then they get their ass kicked by people like you? Fuck you! So of course they're gonna go to Nazism. What else are they gonna go to? They literally don't have anything else. There's no nuance anymore. It's extremes in every direction. You got people who run to the left and it's like, I'll accept every fucking degeneracy on earth because look at how fucking supportive I am of other people except those goddamn white Nazis. Let's kick the shit out of them. You really think that Nazis who have no voting block, no popularity, everyone fucking hates them. White people fucking hate them. Black people fucking hate them. Everybody fucking hates them. You think they're really that much of a threat? No, they have no impact on the culture whatsoever. They're just punching bags. That's all they fucking are. And most of them are just confused kids who got bullied in school and nobody would sit them down to talk to them after the fucking teacher in the history class showed the fucking goddamn Holocaust propaganda with the skin lampshades and all that shit and said, look, the German boy, the German boy over there, look at him. His ancestors did this shit. They made lampshades out of human skin, you know? And then everyone in the class is like looking at that kid. Fuck, you're fucking evil. You were born from evil. You know, what's the kid gonna do? You gotta have pride in yourself. You gotta be able to stand up for yourself and have a material foundation. See, that's something leftists don't understand. White leftists really are underdeveloped people. Because as I've said in the past, White Europeans are a Sahasra social body, racial body, so they are naturally uh, directed towards transcendence, the spirit. They don't generally have a natural connection to the blood like other races do, especially African people. African people are very earthy. They have a very deep awareness of the blood. Well, white people are not. White people are way more spiritual. That's why they have this natural altruism and they're always trying to put other people ahead of them, uh, ahead of themselves. So, you know, white leftists are just acting upon that Sahasra element that is the base of their racial consciousness. But they never connect with the earth. They never connect with the blood. They never form a foundation with Shakti. Those racists, they're actually more spiritually developed than you leftists because they're making an effort to connect with the other side of their consciousness. Now, I'm not saying it's good that they become vulgar racist. I don't support vulgar racism. I don't support national socialism. I don't support any of this shit. But at least they're going through a process of self-discovery where they integrate the body. You just reject the body. You don't even think the body exists. You just carve it up like it's fucking nothing. You fucking cut your dick off and cut your tits off and don't even fucking give a shit. Like, the body means nothing to you. It's just a vehicle to make a political statement. A fucking dumb political statement at that and you're totally compulsive you're controlled by the political environment completely fucking controlled listen if you think it's okay to go beat the shit out of somebody because they have a swastika tattoo or a hammer and sickle tattoo 
or a Star of David tattoo. You need to look in the mirror for a really long time and say, I'm fucking stupid. Because you fucking are. The thing is, like, what really pisses me off about the interaction that I had with this guy at this concert is the fact that he didn't do his fucking homework. He had no idea that the swastika is an ancient symbol that existed long before the Germans picked it up and put it on a flag, okay? If you're gonna have such an intense opinion about a symbol that you're willing to fucking attack someone physically, you should fucking do your homework about that symbol. What kind of fucked up person are you that you would attack someone without knowing the full context of that symbol? While I'm at it, I gotta say something about the German use of the swastika because it's fucked up, okay? Listen, the National Socialists in Germany did jack shit for white people. They set white people back so far, they took our most important symbol, the swastika, which has such deep, beautiful meaning that runs the full spectrum of consciousness from the body to the fire, to the mind and spirit. And they said, not anyone who's born a German is an Aryan. That's bullshit. That's not what the fucking symbol means. They bastardized the idea of Aryanism. Aryanism is a spiritual concept. It means you're connecting with the Aryan gods. This is a, a spiritual tradition that is accessible to everyone, regardless of their race. To just say that, oh, you're an Aryan if you're born white, like every fucking degenerate is an Aryan who's born white. The white people who were chanting me down for having a swastika tattoo are Aryans? Because they were born white? Fuck no! They are not Aryans. I am proud to be an Aryan. I'm proud to have Aryan friends who have skin colors that are not my own, who have access to Aryan gods, who have access to Aryan tradition. Racial nationalism as it existed within the German tradition was a mistake. It was a complete fucking mistake. They should have known better. They studied the ancient traditions. They knew about the concept of Dharma. They didn't listen to people like Julius Ebola, who tried to tell them that their conception of Arianism was wrong, was misguided. They disregarded that completely. They were vulgar racists. They lost the war. They fucked up everything for white people. They created the ultimate boogeyman, and we need to just leave them behind. Totally forget about that period. We need to stop associating with those fucking losers. They lost! It's over! Hitler lost! Himmler lost! They fucking did nothing for you! You know what they did? They gave the enemies of the white people who want white genocide, they gave them all the fuel they needed for the massive attack against white people in modernity. That's what they did. They could have taken so many different turns. Hitler did not have to be so fucking aggressive. He really didn't. Germany, under Hitler's reign in the beginning, had the highest standard of living in the world. If he would have just set his vulgar racism aside and allowed the German people to show the world what it means to integrate pagan Aryanism into the culture and what kind of beauty it could bring about, because it did bring about beautiful things in, in the beginning, if he could have just been a shining light for the world and said, here, let's create these positive conditions for everyone. Let's throw aside bullshit Christianity and, and Islam as a religion. I'm not talking about people as a race. I mean, as a religion, let's throw that shit aside and bring back the pagan Aryan spirit for the world. He could have led us into the ultimate golden age, beautiful global Aryanism, but instead he's like, no, let's invade Poland. Let's fucking take all the and homosexuals and throw them in camps. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be a great fucking idea. That'll really get everyone on my side. 
It's, it's stupid. If you think that that was a proper strategy, then you need to go back to those history books you love so much and really think about the art of war because Hitler was bad at it. So as a result of the beautiful work of Adolf Hitler in ruining the reputation of white people, I can't fucking put a swastika on my back now. If he had acted dharmically or introduced the concept of dharma to the world, people would look at that swastika and they'd see absolute positivity and optimism for the future. Instead of like, just another hate symbol. He's just, he totally stripped the beauty of that symbol. And people who support Hitler, who support National Socialism, who want to see a future for white people, really think about what he's done for you. Do you really think he's done that much for you? Do you really think the National Socialist Movement has done anything for white people? I mean, it might have offered you a nice little boys club to hang out in, you know, where you can bitch about your situation with other people who are doing jack shit to actually fix anything. But that's about it. The only thing that's going to help white people, or black people, or people, or any group, is to embrace their pagan traditions and try to find the Aryan gods. Because we all can find them. We all can access that beautiful tradition. The tradition that exists for the affirmation of life on this planet. For every living thing. We can all find it. I want to mention one more thing about the way that the leftists were behaving at that concert because it's indicative of a wider problem with the uh, maladjustment of racial consciousness amongst white people. Like I said, white people are a Sahastra racial body. So it's all about uh, unifying through the spirit. An example of someone who is rooted in the Sahastra would be Mr. Rogers or Bob Ross. It's a beautiful day. Hyperborea. So you can kind of get the feeling by thinking about the nature of those people. It's when black people say that every white person is like Mr. Rogers, they're not fucking wrong. Like they're tapping into the racial consciousness. Yeah, most white people are like Mr. Rogers. You know, there's this idea of like coming together in a community and seeing beyond the material, seeing beyond race, being colorblind. This is the nature of white people. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. But when it's fucking maladjusted, it can be a really disturbing thing. I don't know how many of you have seen the movie Midsommar, but you need to watch it. It's a beautiful film. And in that film, it really shows the maladjusted Sahastra element within the white uh, racial group. These people come together and they form a collective hive mind because they can't see the physical barriers between people. They don't recognize autonomy. They don't recognize borders. And so they come together as a collective, one organism, and they attack. They attack the one individuated person who is rebelling against the group. You see, this is the root of communism. This is the root of these collective you know, fascistic movements where everyone must conform to the hive mind, okay? Well, you think about like the way those leftists were behaving in the pit. They were all coming around. What they do is they didn't do this to me because they didn't get that far because they knew they shouldn't have fucked with me. And that's good, good on them. But uh, this happens to people, you know? Like, uh, just imagine like a little white girl going out to a concert, you know? And she has a Burzum shirt on or something like that. And then uh, maybe she doesn't even know that Varg is a Nazi, right? But she likes the music. Everyone starts chanting, uh, get the Nazi out of the pit! Out of the pit! Out of the pit! And they all come together as this fucking hive mind. Now, it's mob rule at this point. Nobody's thinking like, this is, this is a little girl who is just, you're gonna fucking hurt this person. You're going to physically hurt this person. You're not, you're not getting through to this person. You're not changing this person's mind. You're not opening a dialogue. It's just like, no, immediate hive mind, shout this person down and attack them. Well, this is something that translates to the macro scale. The whole cancel call, <clears throat> excuse me, the whole cancel culture movement is run by white racial bodies that are maladjusted in the Sahara. It's all about forming this unification through spirit and being totally disconnected from material reality. These people are totally disconnected from material reality. Have you seen their bodies? Most of them are either fat as fuck or they're just fucking scrawny crackheads. They're disgusting. That's Antifa. 
fat fucks and scrawny crackheads. That's the whole fucking thing. And it's because they have no connection to the material. They don't give a shit. They don't even do any goddamn push-ups or anything like that. They don't care what they fucking eat. No. They smoke crack and eat Twinkies. That's what they fucking do. And then they go out and bitch about people in the fucking streets. And it's all about getting the collective together to assert their will because they lack the physical foundation to actually assert their will against somebody. That's why I'm saying, listen, motherfuckers, you want to get the Nazi out of the pit? Come and fucking get him out of the pit yourself. Don't be such a bitch about it. Don't get your new group together and chant people down or start throwing rocks or fucking attacking people because they can't fight anybody one-on-one. -on -one. It's all about the hive mind. It's all about mob rule. And then politically speaking, when you apply this to a political system, you apply this to a social system, it's like, no, kick them off the internet. Kick all the right-wing people off the internet. Kick them out of the banks. Kick them out of the political system. Yeah, alienate them even more. Yeah, that's really gonna... You know, the thing is, when you fucking do that, listen, right-wing people, uh, national socialists, I don't agree with them. I'm not one of them. They will fuck you up. They actually have a strong connection to the blood. They care about the body. They know how to fight. If you keep doing this shit, leftists, if you keep pushing them too far, you will create a new Nazi Germany. They will put your asses in camps. They will fucking do it and you won't have a goddamn thing to say about it. You're creating terrorists. That's what you're doing when you behave this way. You're creating your own fucking nightmare. I don't want you to do that. I don't want more fucking Timothy McVeigh's in the world. I don't want more fucking unhinged terrorists. But you're fucking creating the conditions for that. So unless you could set your bullshit aside for a second and try and open a dialogue with these people and find your common ground and really be a well-adjusted Sahasra racial body where you try and find unifying principles between people while supporting their individual nature, if you really put your money where your mouth is, then maybe, maybe then, we can have a healthy culture. But as it stands right now, it's just a bunch of absolute bullshit.